Welcome back to Master Data Management 1. In the previous video, you configured your map shape for your MySQL to MDM process and linked it all together. Now that your Atmosphere and MDM platforms have been synchronized, you are now ready to run a test. In this video, we will briefly review the test mode feature in Atmosphere and then have you test your process on your own. Just as a review, Atmosphere offers the ability to unit test integrations in a visual, real-time view of the document flow. This is called test mode. You can enter test mode by clicking on the run a test button. This is located on the top right of the process canvas. Test mode supports unit testing of a limited set of documents. Connectors only support the retrieval of 100 max document count or 10 megabytes of total data size. Test mode is limited to a maximum aggregate data size of 10 megabytes across the entire process execution. If the size is exceeded, an error message appears. You should configure filters and other selection criteria in the inbound operations or profile to limit the size of data read into the process. So now I'm going to go ahead and test the new process out to make sure that the documents flow from my MySQL to MDM properly. I'll demonstrate how to initiate test mode and also give you a few tips along the way. So feel free to follow along in the activity guide and you'll have time after the video to try it for yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over into my Atmosphere platform. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is add a stop shape to the end of this. Um, this isn't necessarily a best practice, but it just kind of looks a little better. So I always like to put a stop shape so that I know that um, I meant to end this branch uh, right here. Uh, sometimes they can be a little confusing, especially if you have other users who may see a, um, an open line somewhere uh, or open branch somewhere. They may not realize that that is the end of that particular uh, process and that it's done. So what I'm doing with this is I'm signifying that this process is now complete to my standards. The next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the test button up here in the upper right side of the screen. Now, if you have a change that you haven't quite saved yet, you have the option to either revert and reload or to save it or to cancel it altogether. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and save my progress. And then from here, we have our test window. I'm going to need to select my Atom first. So I'm going to select the test Atom cloud that we set up earlier. And then finally, I'm going to click the run a test button located in the bottom right side of that window. Now what we can see here is the node is going to turn yellow and this should be a little bit of review from our Boomi Essentials course, but it'll turn yellow while it's loading and while it's uh, processing. If everything, if everything goes well with the process itself, it's actually going to turn green and if there are any errors along the way, it'll turn red. So now we can see that my process is uh, completed and it looks like it completed successfully. We can see that the documents came from my MySQL database start shape flowed into my map, and then ended in my MDM connector, where it then sent the documents to my MDM repository successfully. We can take a look at some of the documents that flowed through here by looking at the document count over here on the left-hand side. And if I select certain shapes along the way, I can also look at their shape source data and their connection data as well. Shape source data is going to be the data that flows into the shape. The connection data is typically the data that flows out of the shape. So if I click on my MDM connector shape and then click on shape source data, I can take a look at what that data looks like going into my MDM connector shape. This may take a couple seconds to load, but when it does, you can see that the information is here. We have our ID, the last name, first name, uh, this is our concatenated name here that we created uh, via our uh, function from before. We have our mailing street, phone number, and email as well. Once you verify that you can see that information, you can go ahead and close the document viewer. You can do the same thing for your connection data by clicking on the little view icon here. It sort of looks like a piece of paper with a, a magnifying glass on it, and that will show you the same data as well. And that way you can kind of verify what data went in. And if there are any errors along the way, you can kind of figure out where that error occurred based off of the data that flows in or out of your MDM process. 
And now that the test has run successfully, that is the end of exercise number 14. So why don't you go ahead and try it on your own? And once you've completed that test and you notice that the data is flowing through correctly, you can then go ahead and start the next video.